When will the car go on sale? Are you still on track? We're on track and start of production is slated for the end of next year, 2020. The car is going to start at $100,000, is that correct? Well, we'll have a range of prices. The initial batch of cars that we sell will be highly specified, so therefore they'll average over 100000 but we'll make progressively more affordable versions of the car available as we ramp up production. Now, you've said you think you can bring the cost down to about $60,000. Ultimately, yes. For the car. Yes. The Model 3 is now in the mid-40s. They're aiming to get to $35,000 a car. How do you compete with that? Because our car is operating in a different sector of the market. It's truly luxurious, luxurious car. So we're really, uh, you need to compare us with a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, not something like a C-Class Mercedes. What about the higher-end Teslas? Well, an S-Class uh, Mercedes is, is our core competitor, but uh, a Model S Tesla, yes, that would be a, a, a comparative uh, electric model. But we differ in that we are truly a luxury brand. If you look at Tesla, they're high-tech, they're beautifully engineered, uh, they're very disruptive, and they're premium price. But you only have to get inside a Tesla to recognize it's not really a luxury car. It's a premium car, but not true luxury. Have you told that to Elon Musk? Not yet. <laughs> um, so give us an, a timeline on production. OK, so we start in production in Casa Grande in Arizona, late 2020, and we gradually ramp up production uh, throughout 21 and 22, and we'll ramp up production up from just a few cars to 50,000 units a year within uh, two or three years. So when does the first car go on sale and hit the road? Uh, it'll be effectively very early 21. OK. So the Saudi private investment fund which is also an investor in Tesla, is an investor in Lucid. Absolutely. Um, explain that relationship to me, given that Tesla is your competitor. Well, um, all I can speak on about... On the premium end, not uh, the luxury uh, well, end. Well, yeah, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we're, we're delighted to have the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia as strategic investors in Lucid Motors. They've invested in the management team, in the vision for the product, and in the technology that we have at Lucid. All our powertrain is designed and created in-house. It's world-class technology, and that's what drew them to us. And they're a great partner because, in return, we can uh, work with them in um, enabling their vision to transition the, the economy of Saudi Arabia away from one which is heavily dependent upon fossil fuels. But moreover, together we can create hundreds of high-tech jobs, both in the state of California and in Arizona. Um, the, the, the Saudi Public Investment Fund recently reduced, they didn't decrease their stake in Tesla, but they, they hedged their, their risk. They hedged it. Is there any indication that they might, you know, bulk up on their investment in Lucid or, or any indication of why they did that? I, I really can't speak for what moves they've made with Tesla. I can only speak for the relationship with Lucid. And in that, we're very strong strategic partners. There's a spiritual alignment. We both are very committed to really transition towards a more sustainable mobility model. And we believe that the way to do that is first to make the very best car in the world, make it here in the US, create a, a, a premium luxury brand, which is Lucid, and make that a global player. And as a consequence, progressively make other models, other cars, which are progressively more affordable, and then more people can um, benefit and we can actually have a, a, a meaningful impact upon the environment and the impact that can have on global warming. Now, as you know, there was an explosion of press around the murder of, of the journalist Jamal Khashoggi um, tied to Saudi Arabia. Do you have any concerns about the ethics of their money? Look, I, the, the, the story here, the key story is that we have a, a, an alignment, a partnership to do something which is very meaningful and very good for many people, for this generation and for future generations in moving uh, the world of mobility, the way that mankind is mobilized to a more sustainable model. And I really believe that is our focus, that is, that is my passion, and it's something that we can do in partnership. And the, the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia is enabling us to, um, to exercise that, that vision. Now, well, We've reported that you had talked with Ford about selling a couple of years ago. A deal didn't happen. Ford CEO confirmed that they did look at Lucid. Would you still be open to a sale? 
We, are, we believe that with the partnership that we've got and the strength of that partnership and the future we have with a 10-year plan, Lucid can be hugely valuable. We're not contemplating a sale. What we would contemplate is potential partnerships in technology. We think we have world-class technology that all the world could benefit from. And a lot of the incumbent OEs, the, 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 the traditional automakers, haven't got the technology that we've developed. And I think they could benefit from that. So I think that model would work, but a sale, no.